and I have our communication over here. I will send to the Ekuwa head of state, Dauda Kairaba Jawara. They should be alive, they let Samuel Kanyado when he was alive, alive rather than leave the country. And this, the contents of this letter I think will be read by the gentleman on my right hand side. And those who all contributed in signing this letter over here, I have their name here as follow. The late Edward Bian Kesali, leader of the Unity Party. The late Marcos Matthew. And then our sitting president, Ellen Johnson Salib, executive member of the Liberian Action Party. Amos Sawyer, you have Mamadi Woti, Randolph Cooper, and then you have Milton T.A.J., Canon Borges, Winston Tutman, Elbert Edelbert Cooper, Elwood Dunn, James Fumoya, Patrick Sayer, and then Levi Zanga, Gabriel, I mean Charles A. Clark, and then Asik Bantu, etc. Et just after that, the interim government was put in power. It took no time on September to go, either he was convinced or he was asked to go to the Freeport. I think we heard a story from Prince Johnson over here. Upon his arrival, information gathered, he said, Prince was informed. So he got to the base of uh, he kept us on the And when Doe was captured, he was taken directly on his base. September 9th, the 10th. Doe was tortured and executed. This is the photograph of the list of Yapayanko lying on a stretcher at the island clinic. But surprisingly, after all this time, it was 1992, June 30th, according to Mr. Johnson, that the late Camp Samuel Kanyato was buried. But there's another photograph I have here before me. He said he used some chemicals for 25 years. But in this photograph over here, you can see the chest is open up with a big hole. It is alleged that maybe the heart from the late president was eaten up. And there is another version as well, mentioned that he was also eaten up from the Democrat paper that came out sometimes ago. And before the issue could come about, the arrest of Thomas G. Kuomba, the failed coup of Thomas Kuomba, when he arrived in Liberia over here, when he arrived in Liberia, when the coup failed, he had no other option. From information we gather, and then research work, he used information we gather, he used the sunlight, and Kuomba body was somewhere around the Duco Road area. Soldiers and individuals around the area raised alarm. And this is how come this body was shot and destroyed all over. You can see the bullet mark on the leg by Mr. Slanga. And later he was subsequently appointed to the rank of general. But just in that light, Kumpa body was taken to BDC. And there are living witnesses over here who saw this body. And he was chopped in pieces. And I have another photograph which is not on him over. The intestine other part was placed apart. An individual that hit this young man's body None of them survived today. So if you see the conflict, especially between the two groups, Father Kipo said the other day that this nation is known for eating humans. It's not today it started. And then there we go with series of problems in Liberia. After the death of President Samuel Kanyado, they said the body was dug out. And this is Spring Johnson in his office at the time deciding the fate of Liberians.